The NFL, or the no fun league as some people call it, even though it's got more and more fun, but they're getting kind of uh, tired of all the dancing. You know, they don't want the players out there doing the Trump dance really. But uh, just last week, we, we laughed, at least I laughed, when Chase was out there for the Cincinnati Bengals and he took out a wipe and wiped the football with it. And these, this was for something called, I think, man wipe versus dude wipes or whatever. Apparently one of those two sponsors the NFL and the other does not. So he had to pay like a huge fine for doing it. But anyway, there's a lot of interesting stuff going on in the NFL. But Pete's point was uh, that the running backs are the key to success. And, you know, he gave us a couple examples uh, like Saquon Barkley, for instance, or King Henry, um, Gibbs, all these guys, running backs, you know, whether it's for the Lions, whether it's for uh, the uh, Baltimore Ravens or the Eagles, these guys are changing the game back to being a ground and pound instead of just Air Force. What do you think of that? Yeah, uh, my biggest thought is that they should let these people dance. Who cares? Who cares? Are the people yes. at home so angry that a guy's wiping a ball or so angry that someone's going to celebrate in the end zone? Is it that big of a deal? Is the, the respect at risk? It's just another thing to help people watch and root for their team. We're dancing at home. Who cares? And yeah, yeah to totally agree. That's yeah, right. ground. Yeah. And the linebackers, you know. Pete and I were linebackers, Justin. And uh, when we see Pete go on the field, which he is frequently, folks, uh, he was on the sidelines for the Penn State Golden Gopher game where his Gophers sadly lost by one point to a very great Penn State team. Um, but linebackers are small. When Pete stands next to most of them, he is bigger by, you know, probably 20 pounds. Pete's 6'3", 240. Um, these linebackers that are playing at 220 pounds, that's too small to stop some of these big, strong running backs like King Henry, like Sa Saquon Barkley. I mean, Saquon damn near squats 800 pounds or something like that. You've seen him do that hurdle where he jumps backwards over some of the tacklers that are coming for him because he's got such a uh, jump in those legs from all that strength. Um, the run linebackers need to be bigger to take these strong running backs down. And I think that's why a lot of these teams are taking advantage of smaller linebackers that are built more for pass coverage than to stop the run. Uh, so Pete wanted us to get that in there. So there you go, Pete. Lastly, how about this? We're getting to this 12 team playoff for the national championship uh, for collegiate football division one and uh, Pete wants to know who, what underdog uh, is likely to perhaps go very far in that playoff and or win it all. And Justin, maybe you're a, an Oregon fan, and if you are, I don't blame you. I guess that's the closest team <laughs> in the NCAAs to where you are in Hawaii, Oregon, and they have a great team, and they're undefeated. So that's a heck of a football team. I think they could go far in the playoffs, but um, is, is that your team out of these 12, or do you have another that you think could be uh, the golden one this year? Yeah, I mean, Oregon is uh, is obviously great. We've talked to Pete about it a little bit as well, and, and you guys are really the, the experts on anything football. <laughs> but I would just note that uh, Dabo Swinney's Tigers have a 34.4% chance to make the playoffs now, which is... May not sound like a ton, but talk about a comeback story after missing out for three straight seasons. Yeah, and that guy, folks, uh, as Justin knows and Pete just lectures me on it all the time, um, Dabo doesn't use the portal. He says, if I recruit you, I want you to play here. I don't want to train you and then have you go to another place. He can't stop them from leaving, and some of them have, but he does not grab players out of the portal like, for instance, uh, Dion does, or like virtually every other team does. He is an old school guy in that regard. And I think Pete and a lot of uh, uh, players uh, really respect that, that this really is a coach that isn't just 
recognizing talent and going out and stealing it, but instead developing it on his own. And uh, that's, uh, that, I think that gives Pete a lot of uh, uh, love for Debo Sweeney. And he is a, a heck of a coach. And I don't think you're wrong. 34% chance, Justin. I think a lot of us would love to see Clemson Tigers make it pretty deep, if not into the championship, certainly very deep into that playoff. So kudos to you for that.